Hey guys, Kathleen Cooper Spazzato with Spazzato Realty Group today, just giving you a little quick update. I had something very interesting happen to me on one of my um, past closings in the past month. Uh, I was working with a buyer, first time home buyer, and we were out searching for a home for her. Uh, love first time home buyers. I love uh, just help, helping them into something that's it's a big deal for them, right? So. I uh, was working with her and we got all pre-approved and she got everything ready to go and so we had gone out and we found the property and put in an offer, conventional financing, we did um, a home inspection which they actually allowed us to have because a lot of times right now people are having to waive their home inspections. We were in a bidding war so we did have to go over asking price but we actually won the bidding war and she uh, was selected as the winning bidder. So we went, proceeded to go book our home inspection and the mortgage guy comes to me asking me if I think now that we have this under contract, is there any way we could switch it from conventional to FHA? Which anybody in this market doing a lot of business knows that that's a big, huge no-no, uh, especially as a seller's agent, which I wasn't in this case, but as a seller's agent, Sometimes your sellers are talking to you about the risks of going with an FHA versus a conventional. The appraisals are a lot more strict. You can see that in some of my other videos that I talk about. Um, so sometimes sellers are picking based off the financing type even. It's not all just about price. So it definitely has to do with terms. So switching after you've been in a bidding war and they could have very well picked our offer based off of the fact that we were conventional and they wouldn't have many appraisal issues or any probably. Um, they, they're just not gonna be happy. So I had told the guy that I wasn't sure because I did not look at the property with FHA eyes when we went through it, but that the home inspection, I would go through with the inspector and talk to them about it and see what they thought and what I thought and see if there was anything that could be a red flag for an FHA appraisal. Fast forward five days, we get out there, we start our inspection and there are red flags all over uh, for an appraisal for FHA at least. And I messaged that right away to the loan officer who did not respond until late that evening and just said, oops, he was like, sorry, I was off today. I didn't see this till just now. Oh, and basically it was like a, oh, well, like that sucks, but never said, well, I'm switching it to FHA anyway. So I feel like we're going conventional still, right? Cause that's as far as I know, that's what we submitted. That's what's in our contract. Fast forward a few weeks and uh, it's on, I think it was Memorial Day weekend. I get a call from the buyer's agent, very, I mean the seller's agent, very angry, wondering why is he getting an FHA, a mandatory clause to sign. It's a form that you have to sign um, for all FHA loans and the buyer, seller, and the agents have to sign it. So he's asking me, why did he get this form? So I was very confused because I had told the loan officer that I didn't think this would pass an FHA appraisal and um, we didn't get seller permission to switch loan types. And also because I was just like this, this can't happen like you can't just do that without telling people and normally traditionally if you are going to switch loan types you are supposed to get the permission written permission from the sellers and that way if anything comes up contingency wise in your offer or financing wise uh, like appraisal issues you have room to negotiate otherwise we really wouldn't have had room to negotiate anything that could have come up because we were putting in our offer and writing that we all signed that we were doing conventional and we were switched now to FHA which I understand the benefits the benefits with FHA is sometimes you have a little bit less um, money to put down also you can have a little bit higher debt to income ratio they're a little more loose with the credit so there's many reasons why FHA is very beneficial and I'm all for FHA but you have to disclose and if you disclose one loan type that's superior in a seller's market and then you switch without the permission of the sellers that could lose your deposit money so I was very upset when the agent called me and told me that he received this because the other thing is the loan officer usually would send me the FHA mandatory clause as the buyer's agent to have it circulated and get all the signatures needed. So it was very weird to me that I didn't get sent this and I wasn't asked or told or anything that this property was going to be now switched to FHA. So I was very worried. I argued with the loan officer about it because I said, you're really hurting the buyer because there are these things I told you that would come up and the inspector had agreed would come up. Um, and he just said his due diligence was to the buyer and saving her money. But at the same time, I was like, well, you're not saving her money if she's paying for a home inspection and appraisal and risking losing the deposits because now if this appraiser comes back and flags some peeling paints or anything else, uh, missing railings and whatever else can come up with FHA appraisals from time to time, 
I don't know who, you go back and negotiate, who is to say the seller doesn't say, no, you go conventional or you're out, and if you don't make the deadlines in your offer, you're out, and we're keeping your deposit because now you've tied the property up for this amount of time and said you were going to be doing this, but actually turned around and did something else. The buyer would never have known any of this. This is not any fault of hers. First time home buyers aren't gonna know the difference. They're just gonna hear if a loan officer is steering them in a direction, they're gonna hear, you're saving money, this is good for you. And they're gonna think, great, thank you so much. But as your agent and knowing in a seller's market what can happen and how the appraisals have been going, that's a big no-no in this industry. So I was very upset with this loan officer. By the grace of God, the appraisal came back and it had no flags on it, nothing. It was fine, the value was fine, the condition was fine. Do I think that that would have, did she get super lucky? Would that happen on a normal day? No, this was definitely an appraiser that missed some things and just went on and sent in the report and didn't really look at it too closely because there were several things that even the home inspector told me that listen, this, these things are gonna be FHA issues. So knowing all this going into it, it was, uh, it was pretty, stressful to say the least but i tried not to put it back on the buyer i tried i didn't tell her any about anything about any of this until after we got the appraisal back because i didn't want her to worry that she was already into this for this money and that she was going to lose her money if there was a slim chance that the appraisal would come back okay and we get through because i've seen appraisers come from across the state they don't know the area they i've seen them do drive-by appraisals they've done desktop appraisals so there is a small chance that they don't even go in the property so they may not notice or flag things that would traditionally get flagged but i've also seen the flip side where they flag silly little things just like gutters needing to be cleaned out and a little bit of peeling paint around a window and you have to get out there and scrape and paint before they can come back out for a reinspection. so it was really uh, not a cool thing for the loan officer to do at all. And then the best part, at the very end of the transaction, um, everything's getting held up because of paperwork. So you really you gotta cross your T's and dot your I's, you know? So they send over, the bank sends over a paper that everybody has to sign saying that, oh, the loan type's been switched to FHA. Literally days before closing, we had to sign this paper. A paper that should have been signed when the loan got switched to FHA. But thank god appraisal came back okay she was able to buy her house um the loan officer was awful he blamed everybody else and said it was everybody else's problem and issue and that he was the savior saving uh everybody in this transaction which i don't agree and i um have done deals in the past where i was even on the seller side and he's worked on the buyer side with some very strong buyers agents but that do listings as well and i asked do you think like that agent would think this is okay on one of her listings if you came through and pulled this crap basically it's crap and uh, his answer was like no she would have my head on a platter so but he could never say hey I'm sorry like this was wrong my bad and apologize for all the stress and inconvenience he caused he just thought hey I did the best thing and I'm trying to save her some money and that's it's just, just the only way it could be because there wasn't enough money to do it another way which I don't understand how you pre-approve somebody without verifying information which I think was just another lie just an another deflect but um, basically learned my lesson avoid this bank at all costs never ever ever work with them again and like that's just a shady way of doing business in my opinion it's okay to do FHA it's okay to be conventional VA whatever loan type but disclose that up front. And if you're going to change that and your contract says one thing and you're gonna to change to another thing, you gotta disclose and you gotta get the paperwork signed in the beginning because had this come back with issues with the appraisal where they said X, Y, Z needs to be done, the seller would not have done it and they would have kept her deposit money and they would have had the rights to keep her deposit money. So we got very lucky, but uh, lesson learned there. If anybody needs to know a bank not to work with, I'd be happy to share my experience with this specific bank with you and answer any questions that you have. And if you want a good bank, I know those too. So uh, I can ensure this will never happen again because I will make sure of it. But uh, in the end, story is great. We, we got the house, we closed on the house, but I will never, ever, ever use this bank again or that loan officer again, I should say. So thanks for watching. If you ever need any good recommendations, please don't hesitate to reach out, text, call, email, or check out our website, www.soldwispizzato.com or my phone number, 508-444-2673. And I would be happy to answer any questions that you have. Have a great day.